Hello everybody. This term in curve we're going to be learning about the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So for example when we start learning about the number 6 we'll be looking at how we partition this number. It might be that we have um, 6 and nothing which makes 6. We might have 1 object and 5 that makes 6. 2 objects and 4 objects that make 6. A 3 and a 3. A 4 and a 2 and a 5 and a 1 and as you can see we're representing not just with the numerals but especially with um, something more visual like for example dots in this case or we might use something more tangible like some golf quiz for example. The children will also be learning how to order numbers up to 10. Um, we use our number lines often in the class and it's important for the children to understand the number order so if they had the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 to order, it would be what number would come next? Which, what's one more than 6? One more than 6 is 7. What's one less than 6? One less than 6 is 5. So it's important that they really understand what number comes after, so more than, and what number comes before less than when they're counting. Um, the children will also be counting accurately with objects. So we might say to them, right, what number have you got here? You've got 10. From this big, big group of objects, can you get me 10? Can you find me 10? And we'd want to see them ordering with accuracy. So they'll put them in a line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'd get them to check again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. They might be able to put it into a pattern like on a dice, uh, in which case if they were to do a pattern like that with their conquer straight away of 5 and 5 and just know without counting that that's 10, that would be perfect. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Bye.